Happy 2017. Can you tell that I was given a curling wand for Christmas? Where others can achieve like beachy, touchable, romantic waves, only I can give you Miss Muffet slash Weird Al. So, stay tuned for hair tutorials in 2017. Actually though, I am impressed. I curled my hair like nine hours ago and it still looks like this. So that perfectly segues me into what I want this series to be because I'll be sharing the curling wand in one of them. This is going to be my tried and true favorites. I know it's a thing to do your monthly favorites or your new discoveries, but I've been wanting to do a series where I share categories of my lifetime tried and true have not failed me products. And I would do them in different subcategories like my favorite board games, my favorite podcasts, my favorite makeup and beauty items, boosh boosh, my favorite beginning gardening supplies, like anything that you guys suggest or wanna know from me, I will tell you three to five of my favorite things. And the reason why I'm filming this one today at the beginning of the new year is a lot of you know that I have started my 2017 bullet journal and so many people have been asking me questions on different social media places where I've been posting little bits that I thought I'll share that as my first favorites because it will answer so many of your questions. So here it is. Marie's first three to five. Is that what I should call these? Marie's three to five. If you have anything more creative, stick it down below and maybe I'll retitle these. For now, it's gonna be bullet journaling, Marie's favorite three to five. What is bullet journaling? Let me refer to my bullet journal notes where I wrote, it's basically a fluid and free thought organizational system that can be as minimal or as artistic as you want it to be. I will put links down below for you to watch extensive videos that explain it, some really, really simple ones and things that don't overwhelm or overcomplicate it. It's as if you took a planner and a journal and a notebook and a sketchbook, lecture notes, school notes, Bible notes, anything that you constantly are writing down in different places and mash them all into one spot that is not subdivided into categories but instead moves freely throughout the book. You'll understand more if you read some of the links that I put below. There are specific bullet journal supplies, and that is not because there's rules, but because they've been tried and true by people who've been doing the system for a while. And I am in thigh high, so I thought that I would share what my favorite supplies are in case you wanted to get started. I will do a flip through of my bullet journal when it gets a little more substantial. Since it's January, I just have very basic bits in there, but I guess I could still flash you. Flash, ooh. Oh, that's my art for the cup of craft challenge that we're doing, the grid tangle challenge. It's like I'm flashing you some leg. Ooh, ooh, traditional calendar format, so sexy. So this is my bullet journal. This is a, gonna pronounce it wrong, surely I am. Leuchtern? Leuchtern. Leuchtern. LT1917 is what people call them. It's very similar to a moleskin. Moleskin? I don't know. I read these things in vlogs and such. I don't have to say them out loud usually but it comes with two bookmarks and the pages are a bit wider than a moleskin. It usually stops about there. I'm pretty sure it's moleskin. So it's got um, a little bit more room for you. It's a little bit more substantial feeling in your hands. The pages are a bit thin, so a lot of people complain about ghosting and want to know what the best pens to use are. Ghosting meaning that you can see the ink on the other side of your paper. And so that's the kind of thing that I'm going to share with you today. First off, I got mine in red because I thought it would be good to know where my book was at all times and I lose things. You can't lose things that are red. When my own brain doesn't work, I can solicit the help of the other collective high family brain and we can all look for mommy's red book. This is really a personal preference thing, but I would suggest lots of pages with a bullet journal because you go through them quickly. It's nice to have a pocket in the back. Having a lay flat layout is almost a must. And then I prefer a dotted or a grid, most likely the dotted because it doesn't show up as much, just for keeping things neat and tidy. You feel very like Zen garden in your bullet journal and you don't want to get all like smudgy with it because it's just, there's no Zen. All of these products can be found on Amazon. This version of the book was on sale for $14.99. I think it's normally $19.99. It's a bit pricey, but for something that's gonna last you for months and be loved, I think it's worth it. Just like any hobby, you can go as crazy as you want with all the ephemera and like accoutrement and other three syllable words that mean things you can get to support your addiction. There was an actual word about that, right? Paraphernalia, more than three syllables, bonus points but none of it's really necessary. If you have a pen and a book, you can have a bullet journal. This is my second favorite product, and I have been doodling, so I have things all over my fingers. That's from the Cup of Craft Challenge. This is a Pilot Frickson erasable ball pen, and if you can see that eraser up there, 
it's like a little piece of rubber it's not your standard pencil eraser and this pen is not like its predecessors if you're like me and you had a grandmother that did the Sunday paper and she used an erasable pen and it really just like smudged ink kind of around where you could still always see what it wrote this one does such a better job there are some downsides to it it is definitely not a strong black line like the microns or the statlers stedlers so many words that I don't know how to pronounce because I've only ever read them it has more of a a fluid line that's a charcoal gray rather than a very strong black and rather than feeling like a sharpie it feels more like a water-based ink I make a lot of mistakes when I bullet journal and this has saved me a lot and it saves me time too because I don't want to write things out with pencil and then have to go over it with pen. These Pilot Fricks on erasable pens also come in colors and they come in packs. There's lots of different assortments that you can get. I will link as many as I can below. The uh, black ones you can get a set of three with three refills I believe for 10 bucks and they last a long time. I've never had to put a refill in yet and I've been using them since I've used my old journals before. If you watched my videos that I did with Louise where I showed our new Erin Condren planners, in those videos I held up a bunch of journals that I had made myself and been filling out the monthly spreads and having little note sections and I said that I couldn't find the perfect calendar slash planner slash organizer so I was making my own. I didn't know that I was already bullet journaling. It wasn't until a few months ago that I looked into what bullet journaling actually is and realized I've been doing it for years and years basically. So I've only adapted a few things from the standard bullet journal format into what I was already doing. So I know that it works for me and that's why I am doing this instead of the Erin Condren. This is what I'm going to be filling up for the year. I will probably put some of my stickers in though because I just don't want to waste that small fortune that I spent on those supplies. I will put them to good use. Most people who bullet journal do make some sort of grid somewhere in there. I have lots of places where I've used them or you need to do straight lines. And having a very thin little ruler that will fit in this handy pocket in the back is so handy because it just comes along with you and it doesn't give you any sort of impression or bump to go over when you're writing in your book. It's nice that it has a couple different little places that I can use if I need to have some stenciling in my book. I haven't used those yet. And it's very thin. I can fit it in that pocket. I'm sure that I could have got this if I looked hard enough for about a dollar, but they had it on Amazon for three bucks and with prime shipping that was fine for me. If you're in the market for this specific bugger, it's officially called the Westcott Technical Drawing Template and it'll run you three bucks with Amazon Prime. However, if you don't want to invest in the gizmos and whatnots and you have a gift card in your wallet that you're not using anymore, just stick that in the back. Not only do you have a tiny little ruler there, but also you could trace that gift card and have a nice little grid. So. You don't have to buy the things, but if you're like me then you like to buy all the things. There are ways to get around it. Number four goes back to pens, and that is the, the these are Statler again. Stedler, Statler, I'm pretty sure it's Statler, right? 36 brilliant colors, fine liners, and these are in 0.3 millimeters. They're really nice. Once again, I can color things in with them. There is a lot of variety in the color here, and it does not ghost through. You can see how much color I've put on that page. The pages are thin, so there's some indentation, but it's very minimal ghosting. If you're really bothered by that, then there are other bullet journal books that you can get that don't have as thin of paper. I like that this one has more pages, which means thinner paper, and I'm okay with that. And my fifth bullet journal favorite is this lap desk that I also got on Amazon, and I love, and Luca thinks it's his. There was a box under the Christmas tree that was a puzzle and it was about this big and Luca kept saying maybe it's a table. He just got it in his head that it was a table. So when this was unwrapped it was the table of his dreams and he's been playing with it non-stop. It's got some features which Luca loves like you can recline it or incline it however you want to say there's three different settings for that. Uh, it has a built-in mouse pad here so graceful Marie oh secret compartment drawer that's great and then it has the legs that can sit right over you I really like this for being a pregnant me I can't sit at my big computer a lot of the time so I can put my laptop right on this it has a mouse pad inlaid on the side and there's a place for you to put your phone so if you are working on your bullet journal and you need to have an inspiration pick up it's already sitting there for you same for a spot for your tablet I don't have a tablet so I use that to set my pens in so they don't roll down and then it has this little bit at the bottom for nothing to fall off when it's on an incline so it's quite nice and I also don't like resting my laptop directly on top of my belly so this is a nice little barrier for a lap desk this was kind of spendy and I'm sure you can find ones that are cheaper it's bamboo it had everything that I wanted it to have so I schlepped out the 40 bucks for it which is what I got it for on Amazon this model is the Sophia and Sam multitasking lap desk in bamboo 
I'm gonna cheat on my own three to five rule because I don't think that I should really have included the book. That part should already be there. If you're into bullet journaling, you're already gonna have a journal and you just wanna know what extra bits and bobs you need to get started, right? So we're gonna put one more in there and that is highlighters. These are the Zebra brand mild liners. They were recommended in the bullet journaling group that is on Facebook, which is huge. It has thousands and thousands of members. I will link it below as well. If you can tell, those are sort of muted. They're not your traditional neon when it comes to highlighters. In the same vein, a lot of people like Tombow brush pens. These are water-based blendable brush pens and they use them for highlighters in their Ujo. Or there's this pack. This is 24 illustrator pens from Koi. I think this was probably about $24. This was a gift, and but I did ask for it. So I think it's about 24 bucks on Amazon. I don't remember with the Tombows, they were a gift as well, but I'll have the link below. They have a bunch of different palettes. For some reason, I chose to go for the cornfield palette. I don't know. The rest of the things like the stickers and washi and all of that, none of it's necessary. It's just added fun. It's whatever you want to bring to your bujo party. Are any of you guys bullet journalers? Are any of you starting this year? If you are, I really do want to see all of your layouts. You can post them on my Facebook or if you're in the Cup of Craft group, which is our crafting Facebook group, I will have the links for you to join there. Everybody is so supportive in that group. It doesn't matter if you are a master craftsman making actual like furniture and sculptures and painting and living your career through your talents or if you're really proud of the stick figure that you think resembles your cat. Everybody's welcome and we would love to have you there. Now, you pick the next topic. What would you like to hear? General hygiene? <laughs> is general hygiene something you guys are interested in? I actually have a couple of products that I have used forever and ever and would like to tell you about, so maybe you should be. Let's all be into general hygiene in 2017. And final thought, if you are from my Snapchat family, then you know how hard this video was for me to make. Thank you for seeing me through the heartburn and yogurt eating and Tums swallowing and batteries dying and babies waking up for me to continue on and make this video until two in the morning. And I did not puke. It's a win for us all, isn't it? I just got done and realized I forgot to say, hit the like button, especially if you're excited about this new series. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, so that you can know when I put up a video, cause you never know when one's gonna come from me. So you hit the button, get a little insurance. Wanna go double tap on top of that? Hit the bell button, cause then you'll get a notification when I upload a video, which for me could be tomorrow or maybe three months from now. It's a grab bag of excitement. Also, I'll try my best not to upload in the middle of the night for people in other time zones. I'm trying to think of you. Sorry for those who've been woken by me in the past. Good night from me. Good night from my hair. We both love ya.